about at all. The salted bum. If I wanted a bit of fun, I could ask him whether he's seen Brian. Oh, oh that's just mean. I shouldn't trust him so blindly. He might see better than I do. Oh, seriously. Very, very bad. I doubt she knows anything. If Brian liked her, he'd be around somewhere. The only thing worth stealing from her is something she lost a long time ago. Nice. I'll either get through unscathed, or I'll really cop one on the jaw. The chances are 50-50. Not so quickly. I just want to take a look upstairs, and then I'll get out. So you'd like to snoop? And what about a fist to the jaw? Oh, calm down. I'm just looking for someone. A friend who's fond of redheads. He's not upstairs, so get out. Look, can't we just cooperate like adults? So, once again, there is no one with the girls right now. Understood? Ah, oh, but you could have said. I don't want to cause any trouble. Hmm. A tough guy. I wouldn't dare to beat him up. I shouldn't trust... If I wanted a bit of... Ah, here we go. I'm searching for my friend. I bet you must have seen him. I don't care about bloody fools. Ask someone else. Hey, watch your tongue. Or what? You think this knife is just a decoration? And what if someone pinches it? <laughs> you really made me laugh, Milksop. You aren't quite the chicken I expected you to be. So what do you want to know? His name is Brian. He's the same age as me. He should be waiting for me here, but he must have gone. Ah, drunkard. Well, the innkeeper will know better. All the slapping. I don't chat with people. If they don't want to play, I don't give a damn about them. Hmm. Couldn't he be in the whorehouse over there? You'd have seen him then. I doubt that. Nobody's gone in there in the last hour. Thanks. Well, at least I tried. I know I these know kind of thugs who put their knives on the table, table when they play whizzes, just, just to avoid any nuisances. Them. But they hardly, hardly know how to fight. fight. At most, At most, they stab, they stab you in the back. back. Well, getting stabbed in the back is a bit of a threat. Jesus. No money, no funny. Nice knife. Is it for decoration? I'm not sure. What do you think? Do you want to take a closer look? If you don't mind. Why should I? I'll stick it in your stomach so that you won't miss any detail. And then I'll twist it several times, just to make sure. Okay, I get it. Just forget about it then. I hate, I hate this, this snooty scumbag. scumbag. He's, not He's not sitting at the door to look for opponents, but to be able to flee if something happens. I need to go. I have other things to do. Me too. Yeah, let's stay away from that guy. He's clearly a psychopath. I'm starting to get a bit nervous. I can't see him anywhere. A misfit. A bucket of water could wake him up, but I doubt he'd say more than two or three dirty words. How's it going? Terribly. How come you're so grumpy with everyone? Look, I ain't here to chat. Order yourself a drink or get out. God, you can be really nice. I wouldn't enjoy a drink here. Try it and you'll see. I might be nicer then. She doesn't bother with niceties like that. Perhaps I'll order a drink to make her more talkative. But first, I need some money. Charming. Now it's my turn. 
What? That comment made no sense. Hello there. Aren't you closing down soon? Ah, uh, we're open especially at night. You know, because of the girls. What can I get you? Where are all the guests? Were they poisoned by the terrible beer? <laughs> Cut it out, young sir. It's not worse than in any other place. It was the police raid that scared off my customers. Hmm, I guess they're looking for someone. Who knows? What else should they do? Right? It's none of my business anyway. Police. Is it possible they're looking for me? Of course it's possible they're looking for you, you complete and utter dipstick. I still don't get the police action, you know. Perhaps a prisoner's escaped. Going outside would be daft. I don't know anything about that. Everyone can think what they want. Well, if it's not because of an escaped prisoner, then why? Ah, uh, there's plenty of gossip going around. You know, people talk a lot. It wouldn't be a bad thing to check out the rumours, but I shouldn't take the pub yarns too seriously. What's new in Plymouth, except overly eager police? <laughs> Young sir, if it was like this all the time, I'd have no business. The raid might be connected to Sir William's funeral that took place today at the local cemetery. I don't know the local gentry. Who was he? He was kind of a legend. People dubbed him Mad William. I know a drink with exactly the same name. I wouldn't laugh if I were in your shoes. When he was born and his mother saw him for the first time, she ran away, roaring. I've heard plenty of yarns like that. He's dead. So why is there such a fuss? Local newspaper didn't write nicely about him, and people were scared of him. And now, uh, after his sudden death... Understand it's not pleasant to know there is a man buried at the cemetery who was said to have murdered 50 people. And what do the police have to do with it? They just preventatively mopped up the neighbourhood. Nothing else. They wanted to be sure the funeral goes smoothly and without any problems. If I'm not mistaken, it's over now and Mad William will be forgotten tomorrow. The whole nobility can die out. I don't care. The main thing is the police aren't after me. I'm supposed to meet a friend of mine here. You might know him. His name is Brian. He's around my age. I'm sorry, sir. I take no interest. Why? You don't even know what's going on. Exactly. And I don't care. Understand me? I don't want to get into trouble. What are you afraid of? It's no big deal. Look, young sir. I'm just minding my own business, and the only thing I care about is that no one is preying on me. Anything else is not my problem, so please don't be angry. But you can be sure I'll tell the same to anyone who would ask me about you. I'd like to trust him, but he's a chicken anyway. God, everybody here is a useless fucktard. I'll rather go. Goodbye, young sir. Mysterious figure. I don't know who it is, but he obviously wants everyone to leave him alone. Okie dokie. We need some money. And the only way I can think of to get some is to play this guy. No money. Which I can't do because I have no money. Oh, a small bowl for money. A fair theft needs a good idea. We're gonna rob the blind man. Something useful might be in it. But how could I get in? I can relax as long as it's quiet. Nothing worth nicking. Shit. Start a fight with a bouncer? It's not worth knocked out teeth. Okay, obviously not. A fair theft needs a